Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Scott Martin Challenge. Hey, we've got an awesome show for you today. We are back again at one of my favorite fisheries in the world, Rainy Lake up in International Falls. And we're going to be taking out the Rainy Lake houseboats and do a little camping adventure on this one. It's a team challenge. And my special guest and teammate on this show is going to be Jeff Gustafus, and affectionately known as Gussie on the FLW Tour. And hey, we're bringing up the big boys on this one. Bringing up my dad and angler Andy Young. This guy knows how to catch him. I'll tell you what, these guys are out for blood. Stay tuned. This show is going to get awesome. Yeah. What's up, fellas? Hey, is this place awesome or what? Oh, I'm telling you, hey, I'm ready to catch We're back big again, old, Rainy Lake, Rainy Lake houseboats. What's up, dude? Good morning, man. I'll tell you what, I, I had to come back to Rainy Lake. A couple years ago, we fished together up here. It was so much fun. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. Come back to Rainy Lake houseboats to do another challenge here. We're bringing in some hammers. We're bringing in my dad. Andy Young that has a chip on his shoulder from last time. This is going to be, this is going to be one of those epic showdowns, I have a feeling. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. Beautiful day for fishing. We're gonna do a challenge, obviously. Five bass limit, okay? Keep your best five bass. Small mouth, large mouth, doesn't matter. We're gonna weigh those in at the end of the day. But here's the twist. We did it last time, it worked great. Lots of big pike in here, and possibly even a giant muskie. Ooh, That's your bonus fish. And, then, and honestly, don't you think, that might be the deciding factor, to be honest with you. It could be. It could be. So, keep your best five, weigh a pike. If you get a giant muskie, do length on it. And we'll do length if we get a giant muskie. Because the muskie, if you get a muskie, I mean, it's pretty much game over. Well, I'll tell you what, we got we got our work cut out for us today. Um, Scott Martin, number one fisherman in the world. Gussie, number one fisherman in Canada, just an all around awesome fisherman. We got our work cut out for us, but I'll tell you what, I got Roland Martin on my team. And he's the greatest of all time. I think we're going to take him down. Well, I'll tell you what, dad, dad is, is he hadn't fished up here in a long time in this particular area, but he is deadly with a big spinnerbait. If, if there's a guy that's going to catch the big muskie today or a big toothy critter, we got to watch out for him. Yeah, that's that, he's throwing the bait to do it. We're going to be top watering a lot today, yep. um, casting some little jigs around on you know on a boulder right. we might see a deadhead yeah. log. Perfect. Um, but otherwise, just covering ground, hunt, hunting them down. Get after it, dude. Okay, man, I'm fired up. Good luck to you boys. You're going to need it. <laughs> I'll probably throw a popper a lot. Okay, and see, with, the, with this big spinnerbait, we can cover water fast. Yeah. You know, we can really kind of, yeah. you know, I can go off. Let's take these so guys where'd down, they go? huh? Where'd they go? They went, they went sneaking around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't I fish while we're idling along? We didn't say, we didn't say we can't start right now. <laughs> yeah, we're idling. The challenge has begun. That's my partner right there. Dude, that's typical dad right there. Yeah, I mean, that's that guy, awesome, man. He fishes day in, day out. Even when you're idling through a small passage, he's going to fish. <laughs> he never quits. He's like a machine, man. I'm telling you, he's got one speed, and it's just fish all the time. Boy, there he is. Oh, that's a, that's good a one. big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. I got a big one. I don't know what the big it's pike. It's a big one. Whatever it is, it's big. It's on. Oh, it's a pike. It's a northern. We're going to let this play, man. He's going to be eating. <laughs> oh, son, we got him! Woo! We got him! We got him, son! How are we gonna weigh that thing? I got a scale. You got a scale? Right, son, we got, got him, one brother. now, boys. That way, we got him. <laughs> we got him! We got him! That's a that's a pike and a Look half, at that! Son. Look at that on the on the old Roland Martin spinner bait. The old Roland, we gotta weigh him. Weigh Look at that! He's over ten pounds. Oh yeah! Oh, Look at the pounds. Look at the belly on that Look sucker! Size, Look, he must have just ate a smallmouth. You got him, Roland? Yeah, I got him. I got him, son. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. Awesome. 1042. Oh, 10, 1044. 1044. Scott and Gussie, you going down, son. I mean, that was a 10 and a half pound pike, a big one. And that, they don't get a whole lot bigger than that around here. And the only way you can beat us is get a muskie, and I'm going to get a muskie. <laughs> the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. And by the Evinrude E-Tech G2, now available from 150 to 300 HP. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. 
Okuma Fishing Tackle. There's no stopping Okuma. And by Garmin Panoptics All Seeing Sonar. Join the pros who switch to Garmin. I'll tell you what, guys, if you want an awesome experience, come to Rainy Lake, come up here to International Falls, go to Thunderbird Lodge, rent you a houseboat at Rainy Lake Houseboats, go out and enjoy this beautiful lake, tons of fish, this place is awesome. The houseboat deal, camping on the islands, the accommodations with everything here, it, it doesn't get any better than that. He doesn't want to have like 20 pounds of smallmouth and have us nothing. Yeah. So he wants us to catch some fish. I know he does. So if we go talk to him and just say, Hey Scott, help us out. We we don't we're not catching anything. May, 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 maybe he'll help us out because we need some help. We really need I help. Know, that's we're not true, catching man. anything. <laughs> so maybe he'll feel sorry for us. I bet he will. You never that's, know. That's though. Do that. He wants to win off the yeah. bat. I know that. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's got it all down his throat. <laughs> you got him. I got him. Whew. Oh man. <laughs> nice, dude. I don't know if it's gonna beat Dad's or not. Well, we saw Roland holding his up before, yeah. and it that's right. definitely it was a little bigger than this, but. Here they come, Roland here they before. come. <laughs> 414, you grab 414. 414. That's what we need our smallmouths to weigh. That's right. <laughs> All right, he's going back. 11-6, 11, six. 11 six. All right, so here's the deal. I forgot to mention that this morning. And Andy knows the drill. Andy, you know the drill, right? I know the drill. Loser has to take the slide of shame, my friend, off the back of the houseboat. We got to catch some good quality smallmouth. And all we've caught right now in the last hour or so are just pound and a half, two pounds. We have to, That's we right. have to figure it out. I don't know what it is. We have to ask Scott. Yep. We have to, we have to try different areas. We have to try different lures. Whatever it is, yep. we're not on the program. That's we got to figure sure. this That's program out. Sure. We need to figure something out and we need to do it soon. <laughs> All right, now listen, y'all quit jacking around and let's get this party started. Okay. You better catch a okay, big bag of fish. I'm gonna run down the river maybe, huh? I can tell that they're having a tough time, you know, and, and we gave them a, a few little tips and I just hope that those tips <laughs> don't come back to haunt us, my friend. That might've been puppy dog in us. There you go. There come we go. on, be a bass. I think it's a bass. Yeah, yeah. Jumper. Nice. Yeah. Trying to catch a big muskier pike and it's catching a good smallmouth. All right. It's not a giant one yet, but we are going to put him on the big side. Come on, big one, big one, big one. Ooh, nice one. That's a nicer one, man. Oh, that's a real good one, dude. That's what we're looking for. You mean to help you out or you got him? Oh, I think I can get him. I got him on my little hair jig, so that's oh, usually a pretty look at that good one, dude. Now we're heading in the right direction. Oh my goodness, you're making me nervous. These things do not go give up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes! Woo! That's what we're talking about. That's, that's a, a rainy lake fish. Dude, that's the type of fish right there that we need to win this challenge, man. Awesome job, dude. That's the one. That's that's the size we need. He was spitting up, he was spitting up big shad. That's it right there. Dude, that's so crazy. Okay, that's going in the big yes, side, absolutely. dude. absolutely. Take care of that. Absolutely, there we go, boys. Dad, you better be watching out, because when this guy gets dialed in, it's gonna be deadly. You wanna stay properly hydrated when you're out on the water, check out the Squincher products. Now, what is Squincher? Squincher is a simple electrolyte replacement. It has low sodium and high potassium, and that's what your body needs to stay focused out there in the water. I've had a lot of success over the last couple of years, and honestly, guys, the Squincher products have helped me stay focused, help my body feel better, and at the end of the day, I make better decisions. They come in lots of different types, like the Squincher Quick Sticks. They come in also the Squincher Light if you have to worry about your sugar intake. And one of my favorite products is the little Quick Stick Tubes. This is the Squincher Zero, has no sugar at all. The best part about all the Squincher products is they store easily in your boat, so you can just add them to a simple bottle of water and you're good to go. So for more information about the Squincher products, be sure to check them out on the website below. It'll help you feel better and it'll help you catch more fish. I promise, guys. Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is provided by Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. From high-performance coolers to insulated tumblers, Angle has what you need to keep your next challenge seriously cool. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by P-Line, 
delivering the leading edge of quality high performance fishing line. Power pole, swift, silent, secure. And by Live Target Lifelike Lures. I tell you what, dude, today, I know you want to take Andy out. He's, he's, he's from up here in this area. You want to fish, you want to beat him, but I want to beat my dad. He took me down on the tarpon challenge this year, which was, which was tough to swallow. And we got to take him down, dude. I cannot lose my dad. I'm going to tell you something. He'll, 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 he will rub it in. Good one. That a boy. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Angry. That's the kind we want to see. Oh, be careful, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's hooked good. We're good. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's in, he's out, he's in, he's out. Yeah. Woo. Now nah, we're cooking. Got it going. <laughs> nice. That a call? We're culling now. That's what we're I'm talking about. We're getting rid of the babies. That's what I like to see, yeah. There's, There's one. a good one. That's a good, a good one. one. That's a good one. Bass. What did I tell you? I can't tell. It's a bass. Well, it it's is a bass. bass. Yeah, it's a big bass. I'll, I'll grab a bass. If you can. Ha ha ha, son. All right, now we're talking. That's the first good one. And we changed bait. Maybe we're on something. Yeah, I think you're right, Roy. Huh? Right. Boom! You no, know, it's plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. It's just that we hadn't figured it out much. We hadn't found the right area. That might be a big one. So Jeff fires that spinnerbait up on the bank, starts running. All of a sudden, I look over. His rod doubles up. Fish jumps. He fights the thing. Oh, that's a tank, <laughs> dude. That's a tank. What size line do you have? Not super heavy. I Ooh, really? 14 or 16. Is there a trailer maybe? hook or no trailer hook? No. What just happened, dude? I'm ready for him. <laughs> Dang it, dude, it gets off, man. We can't have that happen anymore. Dang it. Oh, oh he got a giant swallow. He got him. What is it's it? a big swallow. Small big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. He followed right up to the boat. He got it. So I just hear this huge noise, and I'm excited as heck because the engine's running. Yeah, yeah. The engine's on. It's, 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 it's a crazy. Yeah, that was really cool. It sounded like a big old toilet flush. <laughs> Come here. Oh, man. <laughs> that thing, that's a big one, too. Look at that one rolling. That thing, that thing was a great big giant Woo! one. He followed it in. It was just, I was just cranking it across here. Great big, probably a four and a half. That's the kind we need, boys and girls. That's the one that we're talking Woo! about. Scott, Gussie, you ain't beating us this time. You guys are going down. And when I say down, I mean down the slide. <laughs> hey, you want to keep your engines running strong, smooth, and even have better fuel efficiency, or you're having some of those awful ethanol problems, be sure to use the Startron fuel enzyme treatment. This stuff is available at all your local Bass Pro shops, or visit them online at BassPro.com. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Startron. Startron enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Fishing Click, the new go-to fishing app that connects anglers, friends, and guides, changing the future of fishing. And by Squinter, professional grade hydration. Hey guys, are you hungry for more adventure? Join us on our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook page. We'll take you behind the scenes. And for tips and techniques and more, please visit scottmartinchallenge.com. So we're on this third quarter. We got four fish, two pretty good ones. But you know, we didn't figure out anything until an hour ago. I know. We caught two big ones in the last hour and then two medium-sized ones. So that's saying something. That's yeah. two yeah. in an hour. We got a couple more hours. So, hey, we're, we're in good shape. I think we can win this thing. All I know, had plenty of opportunities so far this afternoon. And if these fish get in the boat, this is game over now. Nice one, that'll call. That'll help. Ugh. Nice. All right, you call because there's a really yeah, good spot right here. Yeah, I'll take care here. of it. You keep catching them. That reminds me of every once in a while, I'll go to a lake 
and I'll, and I won't, I'll go to all the really pretty places and I'll, I won't catch one. And I'll go to another pretty place, I won't catch one. And then I'll look around, I'll say, what's the ugliest looking place here? What's the most likely, least likely place where I can catch a fish? It looks horrible. And that's where I'll go. And sometimes it works, it's like here. It's horrible looking. <laughs> Hey, you know that the pattern that we're on is that rock deal, and we kind of told them about that, and I don't think they caught some nice fish doing it. But what the heck are they doing back there in that grass? I mean, that's not how you catch smallmouth here on this lake. I mean, what are they catch, trying to catch pike or muskie or something? I don't know what they're doing back the there. The scary part is, is we're all moving fast, fishing fast today, covering ground, trolling motors on 60, and these guys haven't moved for like 20 something, minutes. Something's going on over there. I don't know what they're doing. They look like, it. yeah. Oh, it's oh, a big one, big one, big one. Good one, good one. Good one, good one. It's underneath you. Good one, good one. That a way, old Roland. Nice little. Look at that. Three, three and a half. Ooh, yeah. Three. That's a good one. All right, Scotty. That's good. I hope you're catching them because you're gonna go down. <laughs> yeah. I think we've been had. Nice guys finish last. There you go. That's a big one. Big one. Big one. Now we're 100 yards up the bank. Another nice little rock sticking out, and I fire that tube up there. Boom. Set the hook. You know, one of those ones where, am I snagged? And it pulled back. Big Ooh, fish. Big and the battle is on. It's a big one. I'm worried about trying to land it. I'm doing everything I can to get my hands on this fish. It's surging. It's diving. I touch him two or three times. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Nope. Not kidding you, dude. We put about an 18 pound bag back today now. These smallmouths never, mm. never, never give up. They're mm. so tough. Mm. I think good. you need a net sponsor. Yeah, not good. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, we got a tie. Is it a pie? Yeah, oh, it's a big, my little big one. That's, that's the kind we're talking about right there. I gotta change your luck, my friend. I made I'm you, thirsty. I made you some squinchers. This stuff right here, yep. it's just a powder electrolyte replacement. There's nothing weird in it, no caffeine, no weird anything. It's just electrolyte replacement. Dump it and in I a made, bottle of water? Yeah, just dump it in a bottle of water. It's like a little lemonade. That's a lemonade in there. That's gonna change our luck. Now, we're not gonna lose any more fish. Now, everything for the rest of the day goes in the boat. Oh yeah, nice one, man. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Squinchers, baby! Yeah! Squinchers! <laughs> it's an awesome. upgrader. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's another one. Pretty good one there. In oh, the yeah! Boat. In the Finally boat! Finally caught a break! Whew. Finally! <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, man, that's a big one! It's a big one! Come on, Ronald, let's get this guy in. There we go, buddy. That's right. The beauty, Roland. Nice job, pal. Big, big, smally. I got, got him. him. Got him. Nice, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. Giant <laughs> one. Oh, my goodness. That's what are you going to do? One. Just stay here? <laughs> yeah, just hold her there. I'm going to get this guy. I'm so scared to death, dude. I'm scared to death. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Get in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah, that's the kind that we want right here. That's a big smallmouth. That's a big giant smallmouth. Small come here, come here, come here. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. That'll help. Scott, yeah. you're going down, son. You're going down. How about, let's weigh that one. Yeah. All right, guys, I tell you what, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh, I heard y'all hooting and hollering across well, we the lake. We, we, we had a slow motor, but that this afternoon was on oh, fire. This son. place is amazing. It was good. It was this amazing. lake is great. Now, this man right here, he pulled through for us. I know you guys caught some good fish, but it's a simple challenge. We're going to see what your best five bass okay, weigh. You hold the bag. Okay, I'll do Andy, it. Andy, you okay. pull them out. All right. Andy. This is here the truth go. right here. Okay. This is where the rubber meets the road, my friend. <laughs> That's oh. the first one. Oh, look at that, that one. fat one. That's a beauty. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's another one, but... Man, it gets another nice one. 
Oh, Ooh, that one There's hurt. A big one. That one, that hurts, one hurt. Yeah. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. 1968. We did all we can do. We've got a good bag of fish. It's going to come down to just a pound or so. I know it. I, I can see it in Dad's eyes. It's going to be close, dude. It's going to be real close. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's a beaut. That's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Uh, Beautiful fish. Oh, oh boy, it is going to be close. Ooh, they wee. Might have a soul, man. Oh, Ooh. oh, that was a nice one. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so close. All right, here's the scale. Go ahead, bud. <laughs> 1726. 1726. Here, open that up. 1726. We have a toothy critter challenge. I don't think it's going to make much difference at this point. <laughs> what was your biggest toothy critter? 1084. 1084. Ten, four. Eight, four. What was ours? 414. Oh, you got an extra pounds. So that means you had over 20 pounds. We had over 18. That makes you the Rainy Lake champions of the entire universe. Golly, man. We did all we could do, and we got took down. But we'll do it again, my friend. You did awesome. It was a good team. Got to put them in the boat next time. We will. There'll be a next time. There will be a next time. I'm going back out, dude. Let's go. I'm going back. Let's go, go. We got to catch go two more pounds. <laughs>